Hey, hey, YouTube, it's Eternal Prince here, bringing you another little Let's Play. I am playing as a Gurdjieff today, so this is a different one, uh, because I've not played as much with Gurdjieff. So we're going to take a quick look at who we are up against. So we are up against some Bulgarians, Mines, Hindustanis, and Portuguese. So this is going to be kind of a rough game, although we've got Romans, and Romans are quite deadly, so... And Tatars as well, with, uni uh, with villagers, that is. So... The Chakram Throwers, what's so good about them? Well, they do splash damage and they basically throw frisbees, which hopefully I can demonstrate very, very soon. Now, they do have a floor, which hopefully I'll show you guys in a bit. Well, if we're going to head over to the technology tree quickly, and I'm going to show you exactly why they're so good. So, we're good against infantry, or we weak versus archers and siege weapons. Um, I'd give these guys a heads up as well. So this is live on Twitch right now. So if you guys do want to play, come on, play. Uh, so we need to go up against some infantry right now. And Grey would be the best bet, if I'm being honest. Although, the problem I have with Grey is that it's quite far. And Portuguese are over there as well. So it's probably best not to fight. So I'm going to try my best here to fight with Green. So let's do some uh, fr frisbee throwing, guys. Let's go. Because the Bulgarian units do convert into uh, infantry units as well, as you can see. And from our previous uh, playthroughs as well, as the Bulgarians, you can see that uh, they've got the elite dismounted conics. So, as you can see, we're doing splash damage on grouped up enemies. Uh, I'm going to see if Gre uh, Green can set me a race. If he can, that's going to be brilliant. If he can't, then it is what it is. So right now, we've just got to chuck these frisbees at the Bulgarians as best as we can. Do as much damage as we can while Green tanks most of it and kills most of the units with us. So I'm 43 kills right now. Slowly climbing. And the only problem with the gates right now is that... I'm going to see if I can get a little frisbee throw. So this is one floor that we've got as Gurdjieff. They don't do much gate damage. Um, and we can actually beat Portuguese as well, according to Dusky. So, yeah, we will do that eventually. I'm just going to... Oh, sugar. This is what we don't do. This is what we don't want. I'm hoping I can beat the Hindustanis here. Right, we've got our... Villagers. So I'm going to start making four stables, first of all. And then I'm hoping we can just... Take out a few of these here. So one good tip I can suggest for... Uh, CBA is make yourself a outer wall as soon as possible. So an outer wall will get you a nice little defensive position. Also bearing in mind that we need to keep an eye out of any enemies and whatnot. And now it's just a case of uh, just making our way up the kills. Now I'm going to send some troops down here over towards Red and Yellow to just give them a bit of support. Um, and then obviously help Green out as well in the, in the meantime. Just keep an eye out on your villager at all times. Make sure you don't lose them. Uh, we'll go for the little researchers that we've got, like Bloodlines, for example. We won't need them just yet. But we will be able to make some camera riders soon. Because a lot of people tend to make a lot of uh, stuff. So, let's go ahead and push down. And this is where it's looking a bit dangerous now. So let's send our villager back. Um, and then what we can do is we can just try our best here to kill. Uh, I might be a bit cheeky here and try and get a little repair off on this gate while we uh, kill the enemies from outside. I wasn't actually watching these units down here, but I'm going to send them back. Okay, that's a good start. So what we'll do is we'll carry on making some stables. Let's get some of these units out. Awesome. Green's doing a real good job right now. And he's walled himself as well. Nice. Um... Anyone need a raise? So what I will say, guys, is it's good to actually uh, 
communicate with the team as well. Let them know what, um, if anything is needed and whatnot on your side. To help out, obviously. Uh, I'm going to try and push here. Although I feel like they are pushing against this one. So I'm going to... Uh, try and help these guys out here. Let's go, go for those Portuguese units. We'll do some splash damage on them. Should be nice. So I will say the Roman... Well, just by looking at the Centurions, they are quite overpowering. And I think they will need nerfing, which they probably will get nerfed. I'll leave that to the Requiem team there. All right, let's go, let's go ahead and push these Frisbees out. Look at that, guys. Look at that Frisbee damage. Boom. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Gurdjieff is amazing. Okay, so he's deleted his units. Nice. So... Let's go ahead and try and get red some razors. Okay, never mind. Red's already been set. That's good. All we need to do is sport red a bit just till he gets his rays and then we should be good to go, hopefully. So I'll just hang back a bit. Awesome. So let's carry on building. So... A good advice is to actually build a inner wall as well as a outer wall too, uh, but I don't really need it. So I'm going to make a mixture of archery ranges here and I'll make one barrack there just because I can demonstrate why I'm going to be doing that. And I've just lost a load of units because I was not watching. How silly of me. They've managed to get one raise off us so, and then maybe get two, but... I can't really do anything against Bulgarians on my own, so I'm just going to have to do, uh, try and support as best as I can until I get to Castle Age. I'm not actually sure how many kills it is to Castle Age, but I'm sure we can probably uh, work it out. Let's fight these uh, Hindustanis here. Obviously, it's not good to get up close and personal because our units don't really get much HP. Uh, so it's good to actually group up your units together as Gurdjieff's. Uh Try and go for the 60 units as a total. That way you'll get a bit more of a frisbee throwing shebang. So yeah, let's get back a bit. Trying to get red to get in front. And then boom, go straight for it. Hopefully our frisbees should just fly to the back. Like that. It's a shame, really, because I feel like the attack could be slightly higher because a 3 plus 1 isn't really good. Um, but we've got Castle Age now, so I'm kind of happy about that. So let's go for a few little upgrades. What we got here. Military units cost minus 25% food, which would be awesome. Camel riders and elephant archers receive plus 4 melee armor. That is cool. So let's go for the uh, upgrades on the barracks. Villager upgrades... Uh, villager speed upgrade and then yeah let's just wake our way over towards uh, Imperial Age as best as we can and then once we get to Imperial Age I'm hoping we can uh, start pumping out some units if the game gets that far we are kind of dominating these guys right now uh, we've all put walls outside our base apart from yellow but yellow shouldn't be struggling too much to be fair so I'm going to get my Chakram throws back. Let's go back. I mean, I'm going to try and keep an eye on him this time because uh, it can things can go wrong here. Horrib horribly. I've just got to keep an eye out on this gate. I don't really want them to try and get in if anything's possible. Right, let's fight Grey over here. Let's go. Look at that, guys. We're just going to absolutely demolish him. Look at that. Splash damage. Well, I say demolish him. We have lost some units, but... When you fight with someone else, it's a lot easier. Yeah, there's not really much else to say. What are we making here? Legionaries, wow. Look at that, 12 plus 9 damage. We definitely need a video for the Romans. I need to unlock the DLC first. Speaking of DLCs, I wanted to give a big massive shout out to Renru RSA. He is the dude that actually gifted me the DLC. The Indian DLC, that is. So, obviously, I've already got the Hindustani playthrough. So, shout out to Renru RSA once again. 
for gifting me this DLC. Oh, sugar. I've just lost my villagers. That's quite sad, that is. That's me not paying attention. That's what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Nine times out of ten, you have a stream sniper watching your stream. So, they know what's going on in my... Um, gameplay. But it is what it is. Maybe I should do a video of keeping an eye on your villagers at all time. That is a moment where a lot of players go weak. Just gonna have a little laugh now with the allies. They're probably gonna be like face palming and shit. Just because I lost my uh, villager there. Right, let's see what we can do here, guys. Can I get a kill on this guy? Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Although I lost a lot of units, so... I should have really attacked from the offset, but it is what it is. Nice little spread damage. I mean, against organ guns, that's pretty decent, I won't lie. The teal is down and out for the count. So yeah guys, there's not really much else I can say about Gurdras. It can be quite deadly. Now you're probably wondering what are the counters for Gurdras. Well, anything with high armor. So Slavs will be one. Uh, Teutonic Knights will be one. Sicilians will be one. Any archers. Yeah, that's about it really, that's all I can say to be fair. So just have some fun with these civs because these sort of civs are pretty cool. You never really used to get uh, units like this in the classic Age of Empires and Age of Conquerors. You know, like splash damage frisbee throwers. The closest splash damage you could get in the old Age of Empires was uh, Persian elephants. So, and that's when they do like the uh, splash damage when they're like humping the buildings and stuff. So. I don't know if this is the same with the units. I think trample damage is, effect, is an effect as well that you can get with the Byzantines, so that's another one. Uh, so yeah guys, I've kind of like gone for the villager here because although I am done with this, um, there's not really much else I can do. And I should have really gone for the arson upgrade. So one thing to talk about this is infantry do more damage versus building, so these chakram throws would absolutely be lit. So remember guys, the main thing about CBA is don't give up. That's what I would say and that's what I would suggest to people that are playing the game. And the reason for that is the game can change at any point. So I'd say at this moment of time right now you've got grey that's left and you've got teal that's left. Which is fair enough, they got hammered. But now orange is left as well. But if it's 4v4, at least give the game at least 10 minutes. And that's what I like to tell people in my lobbies. If they leave within 10 minutes and I'm like, dude, you don't deserve to play for three games. But that's all I can really say. Team does help. But if you're arguing and fighting with your team at all times, then it's not really fun, is it? So keep the composure. Try your best. Play till, Give it some time. Play till the end. And maybe, quite, might, just might, maybe. If you guys check out my Berbers game, that was a game where we should not have won. And yeah, we absolutely freaking wrecked. I'm kind of sad I didn't get to demonstrate Imperial Age on this. We would have made a lot of units. But that is basically Gurdras, Frisbee Throwers, the Indian DLC. Go cop yourself one on Steam. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment on what sieve you'd like me to do next. If it's one I've already done, let me know if you'd like me to remake it. If you want to be part of the series, come check us out on twitch.tv slash eternalprince. All the relevant links are in the description box below. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are from. And hopefully I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.